Happy there YouTubers, this is Snowy88. In this tutorial I am going to explain you how to make a flag file from a WAV file. In my RAM disk I have a WAV file and I want to make a flag file out of it. Flag stands for Free Lossless Audio Codec. It's basically the same as zip. You compress the file, but you don't lose any of the quality of the file. So, in order to do that, you need this program, FUBAR2000. I will provide you with a link in the description below, so you can download it. And you also need FLAC.exe. This program will ask for it, and you have to download it first and put it in the program file somewhere you can find it later back so you start foobar and you click on open and I'm already on the RAM disk and I select this file this is the WAV file I open it it starts playing automatically so I press stop now I will click the right mouse button and I click on convert and I click on quick convert. Now I click on flag. You can adjust the level by uh, assessing the speed of your computer. If you have a very fast computer you can set it to level 8 then it will compress the file the most. That takes the most time and it need the most CP power to uh, decode but it won't affect anything about the quality so if you set it to level 8 it will compress it basically by half about about by half so 40 megabytes will become about 20 megabytes and if you have a slow computer you set this slider to the left now I have, a, I have a very fast computer so I set it to the right. Then you click on convert and you can select an output directory. Well I select the RAM disk, it's fine by me. I click on save and it's converting and as you see it's going very fast. And that's it. That's it. On the RAM disk we have more files now. Let's see. We have details. We have a flag file and we have a wave file. And as you can see, the flag file, or uh, I'm sorry, the wave file is 51.8 megabytes, and the flag file is let's look, it's 35.6 um, 35.6 megabytes. And you can click it. And it plays just fine. So you will find the uh, FUBAR, it's a freeware program, uh, link in the description. And you have also have to download the FLAC.exe file. And you have to put it somewhere in the program files directory. Because FUBAR will ask for that file. Because FLAC.exe is basically the encoder which this program needs so that's it and it's very interesting to do this because you can uh, flag your entire CD collection without losing the quality because flag remains all the quality it's lossless so if you put flag back to wave it will be exactly the same as it was not compared to mp3 because mp3 does uh, compress your file uh, not uh, lossless but loss lossy if I say it correctly and that means that uh, uh, some information of the music will be will be gone well that was nice in the 90s when we didn't have space uh, in abundance like today and I like to have all my files 
as possible as FLAC. I have uh, converted all my albums to FLAC and it's it's very useful and VLC will just play it. I guess Winamp will play it. Yes, Winamp will play it as well. I mean this is my Winamp list and all these files you are seeing here, all these files, those are all FLAX. I have gathered them over over time. You can download them. Uh, you can download many many of them, by the way, by using Spotnet. Yeah, you just take a, a news uh, readers account, and you can download lots of them. And there is also a nice website which I, I'm going to tell you about, and that is let's see where do I have it? Uh, oh, F, and that is. Flag attack lossless. There, here, here you are. Uh, there, there you can download a lot of uh, flag albums, and this side is mostly electronic uh, music, as you can see here. So if you are an electronic freak like me, then you are here at the right uh, place. If you are looking for uh, Celtic music, for example, or, uh, or or heavy metal, then this is not the right place to be. But there are other sources for you to uh, find out. So basically, that's it. It's uh, very easy to make a flag uh, collection. So uh, flag your CDs and uh, make sure you uh, you got uh, copies of your CDs, so they will last digitally basically forever so that uh, that's it okay see ya bye bye